Then you would just start over. All right, BB King, thank you, man. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't do this one when you were alive, but I'm happy to bring it to you today. 10thumbspro.com. New songs every Wednesday, new songs every Saturday. Check the links below. But if you came just because the thrill is gone and your ukulele playing and you're looking for something new, you came to the right place. We're going to break this down, all right? The chords we're going to need. We're going to need... Oh, also, stay tuned, because I'm going to teach you at the end a couple of ideas for some hot, tasty blues licks that you can play with a friend when you're playing this song. But first, I'm going to teach you the rhythm, all right? This is based upon the rhythm in a B minor blues, okay? So we need a B minor 7. We need an E minor 7. We're going to go ahead with a G major bar chord. We'll talk about that at the end too. An F sharp major bar chord. And that's it, all right? Now, normally when you're playing this, you're going to be playing with the bass, or you're going to be playing with, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe you don't have any bass friends, but this is a pretty sparse rhythm. You could do it with the voice, voice, but it would sound really nice uh, with the bass, drums, bongo, whatever you want, all right? And the rhythm, you're gonna be playing the ukulele on the one, two, and the four. On the one, I like to do a soft downstroke with my thumb, only my thumb. And then I come through on the two with all my fingers, and then I release the pressure, because I want it to be a stab. I want it to be kind of strong on that, on that two. So it goes one, two, all right? One, two, one, two. This one, for whatever reason, when I play, I dance a little bit. So if you, if you feel like grooving, no one's watching, stand up and groove it out too, all right? B minor, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you'll notice the four is the exact same as the two. I'm coming through with my fingers, fingernails down, hitting it, and releasing the pressure for a stab. One, rings out. Two short, four short. So if you play that whole thing, I'm gonna play through it four times. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? Now, if you want on the three, you can get a little scratch in there if you want. Something like one, two, four. One, two, four. I like to leave that a little empty. But if you're playing alone and you like the scratch rhythm, you can feel free to scratch it up, okay? Now, after doing the B minor four times, you go into the E minor seven two times. Same strum pattern, one, two, one, two, four. Back to the B minor seven. Okay, so you have the B minor seven four times, two on the E minor seven, two on the B minor seven. Now the last part is gonna be one on that G major, one on the F sharp minor, F sharp major, and two more on the B minor seven. So it equals 12. Four on the B minor seven. Two on the E minor 7, two on the B minor 7, G major, F sharp major, B minor 7, 12 bar blues, okay? So we're going to go ahead and play through that whole loop once, and it looks like this. Here we go. Then you would just start over. All right, now, in the B, in the recording, B.B. King isn't actually playing a B and an F sharp. He's playing a B major, or a G major, excuse me, a G and an F sharp. He's playing a G major seven and an F sharp major seven. Okay, well, why, what's the problem with that is because our G sharp is here, but we can't move that shape down. So that's why I like to play the G and the F sharp. If you want, you have an F sharp major here and a G major 7 here. So you could do a 
but I think the change in register sounds a little crazy. Or you could do G major 7 and F sharp major, which would look like this. But like I said, I like the chromatic movement. I like the same chord shapes. I think it gives it the most truest to the form on the blues sound, so that's why I play it the way I do. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and zoom in now. I'm going to get up close and I'm going to show you how to add some of these tasty blues licks. Okay, I'm going to give you two examples of maybe something that BB might do on this song and I'm going to show you the pentatonic boxes that you can use to create your own melodies and create your own wicked nasty solos. Alright, so let's look at two different shapes in the B minor pentatonic. I'm starting on the 2nd fret of the C string, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, 5th fret, 2nd fret, 5th fret. Your B is going to be the 2nd fret of the A string, alright? Know that because that's your root. And with that particular note, you can have a lot of re resolution. This one here, the 5th fret, is the minor 3rd, which you can also either hammer up onto for a bluesy sound, or you can give it a blues curl. The other shape I'm going to be using is an extension of this. So what you're going to have to do is slide from the 4th fret of your G string, C string, excuse me, up to the 6th fret, then you have 5-7-5-7. Five, seven, five, seven. With your root being here on the 7th fret of the E string, that's your B note. That's kind of where you want to resolve. Now these are just the boxes I would use. I'm not going to give you with those you can do a lot of cool things, right? And see, I keep resolving on that B. By finishing on that B, it's going to sound the best over the B minor chord. You have the roots of the other chords in there. For example, that E note right there, you could resolve on the E minor 7 if you wanted to, which is the 7th fret of the A string. Now let's look at a BB style lick. Alright, these are all quarter notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and. Alright, and that and, you could even take it another note if you wanted to finish on the one. What the idea is here, I'm starting on the 5th fret of the A string and I'm bending up just slightly. This is called a blues curl. And I just want to kind of make it sour a little bit. And I go 1 and to the 2nd fret. 5th on the E string, which is going to be 2 and 2nd fret of the E string. 4th, which would be 3 and on the 2nd fret. Bend for four, four, and back to the second fret, one. One and two and three and four and one. one. Now normally, I would avoid the G string for all improvisation, except what's really, really cool is here on the fourth fret you have a B note. So when you go from this second note here to that B, it's like an interval leap but it resolves, all right? So it's okay to do that in this context. One and two and three and four and one. So you would start this in that song where it goes. You're gonna start that first note on this part and this last note will finish on this part of the next bar. One and two and three and four and one. All right, another thing that BB did a lot, which I really, really like when you're getting a solo started, is he would go way up here and grab a high B and slide down. So I'm way up here on the 14th fret and I slide all the way down. Then I go to the seventh fret of the E string and I hit that B. And that's a really cool way to kind of get into a solo.
right? So those are just two ideas and two boxes. Feel free to make your own ideas. Add some double stops. You can play two notes at once. But look for those B notes to resolve these licks. And there's are two ideas for two licks that you can use. How to start your lick. Add some vibrato there too. How to start your lick and one full lick. All right. The thrill is gone, BB King. Have fun with that one. All right, now that we've zoomed in, we've done it all. We have the whole lesson. We have the rhythm, we have the improvisation. 10thumbspro.com. See how you can get involved and help us grow. You'll be doing your best if you dance and play at the same time. Get the head going. All right? Also, all jokes aside, well, no, actually all jokes included, if you want to help us out, you can go to patreon.com slash 10 thumbs pro. Um, and what do we do is we take the money that you guys donate to us and we put it right back into these lessons. We try to create different scenarios. We try to bring everything that you need to make the music that you want to make. And we spread love, peace, and happiness through the music. All right. So feel free to get involved with us. All the help is much appreciated. And if you came just for this lesson, thank you for watching. All right. Thumbs up if it helped you and take care until the next time.